NIV version says, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the ways of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the stream of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prosper. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the ways of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Just hold on to the person nearest to you. Father, this morning, as we share your words, I pray, mighty God, that our hearts will be pricked and our spirits will be turned. And Lord, your spirit will minister to our spirit. We thank you for what you are doing and what you are going to do in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to speak to you this morning from the topic, My Destiny After Life. My destiny after life. The writer of the psalm pens the psalm. He said, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed means happy. Blessed means fortunate. Blessed means to be envied. The opposite of blessed means curse. The man who walks not in the instruction of God is classified as one who's evil, one who's wicked. David clearly declares that the final outcome of the two ways which is given in this passage, one is the way of the sinner, do we have any sinners in the house this morning? One in the way of the righteous. And this morning we look at the scripture. He specifically pointed out that those who chose to follow God's principle will be received in his presence and enjoy the fullness that salvation up to offer which is characterized by the delight of God. Brothers and sisters, this morning let me put it to you. The writer implies that those who stubbornly chose the way of sinners have no place with God. Do we believe that this morning? If we believe that the Bible is the word of God, Whatever comes out of the Bible, we need to believe it. We need not to try to use our training to try to turn around the Word of God for it to match and fix lifestyle. The Word of God this morning said, the one who walks in God's principles and obey his law, laws are said to be blessed. But if you do not, you are classified as the ungodly, and at the end, you will be cursed. Through this psalm, the writer speaks progressively of the association of the ungodly and those who participate in ungodly ways. We know that things that are not right in the Lord's sight are classified as ungodly ways. But there is a happy condition this morning for those who do God's will. My destiny has 
after life begs the question this morning, where do I go after life? And I want to repeat that this morning for myself and for you. Where do I go after life? When I die, where will I go? I want to say to us this morning, when our body dies, our soul is taken to a place. And the place is either a place of rest or a place of torment. It is our decision to choose where we want to be when we die. We have a choice this morning. Do you want to be with the Lord or do you want to be with the devil? Two ways this morning. Pick your choice. The psalmist said that blessed is a man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. In the advice of the ungodly. That means counsel, eh? When, they have, when, they, when, when the ungodly tell you what to do. When the unsaved tell you what to do. Unsaved cannot give instruction to Christian. It is a Christian's responsibility to give instruction to the unsaved. Because you know of God's goodness towards you. You know of God's mercy towards you. So you're in the position to give advice, godly advice, to the unsaved. But not for the unsaved to give you. No matter how qualified the person is, no matter how learned the person is, eh? a Christian take godly advice through the word of God. Amen? So the destiny speaks of one future. Where does my future lie? Oh, we have different kind of future. In the future, I want to own a big house up on the hill. That's future. In the future, I want to drive the most expensive car, the latest model. Oh, that's futuristic in thought. But then this morning, I want us to look at an eternal future. A future that has no end. That when our lives on this earth is ended, where will I be? Where will I go? Let no one fool you to say that when you're dead, you're dead. When you're dead, your body go back to where it came from and that is from the earth. But there is a part of us which is called our souls that never die. That part of us is dealing with our intellect. That part of us helps us to understand ourselves. We can understand ourselves. The first person to understand yourself is you, apart from God. Because when you are talking, the soulish part of you is talking, the soulish part of you is listening, the soulish part of you is hearing, the soulish part of you is understanding, and the soulish part of you is listening and understanding and then dividing what you're saying and even correct you to say a foolishness yourself. 